Compressor Diagnostics If the refrigerant level is correct but the suction pressure is high and output pressure seems to be low, the problem may be inside the compressor. The compressor needs to be removed at this time and a volumetric efficiency bench test will need to be performed. This test hookup and procedures can be found in appropriate technical manuals and will determine if the compressor has internal parts failure and prove compressor failure. If the compressor is shaking or making excessive noise, there are a few things to check. The clutch. Check to see if the clutch is moving up and down and causing vibration or noise. The clutch may have failed and needs to be replaced before further compressor damage occurs. The compressor. If the vibration is coming from the compressor, the bearings may be going out, causing the shaft to move up and down freely. This will require a complete compressor replacement. Belt damage. Check to see if there are any abnormal wear patterns in the pulley or vibration other than the clutch. Any slight cracks or pieces missing from the drive belt may cause noise and vibration to the compressor. 